Alright, so I've done these in the past and I think now is a good time to do one. There's a Japanese website that ranks teams from worst to best. Not worst to best, but like the top seven teams they have right here. And I'm going to be using them from worst to best. But these are still the top seven. Note to the bottom four teams would be sub-meta, quote-unquote. And then the top three would be meta. Their seventh team is the most interesting. I'll be honest, we're already going to start with the best one. They legit have the Jelly King Glock team as the seventh best team in the entire game. And this is the exact lineup they have with Helbrum in the back. Can I kill one Gelda? We'll see. I think prob mm. maybe. Problem is should be <laughs> out see seeing any Geldas or just any demon team okay not Gelda. Any like real teams, like actual meta teams, will be virtually impossible. This team has horrendous CC. So you know, the idea here of Jelly King is interesting, but in practice, this team really sucks. So, I think 7th is a very high placement. <laughs> like, they are legit way, way, way lower than 7th place. Right, like, when Glocks came out, there was a lot of uh, copium for this team being, like, amazing. Because, whoa, look, look at my... Look at my gameplay here. I just one shot a Meliodas. Whoa! But in practice, it's not how it usually goes, right? If you are a normal player playing the game with a regular box, not like a insanely high box CC, that already is like enough for you to not be able to use the scene. And then, if you face any player in the game that has a semi-competent team, <laughs> you're screwed. Uh, okay. Glox's commitment messed me up here. Do I just lose? I think I do. I want to see this team against the Gelda team. This is updated. This is their current 7th team. It's not like they forgot to remove this team. They updated the list. Wow, that bond sucks. Okay, well, that's good at least. Okay, we found a real player. It took a while to load. There's a Gelder right there. I do all CC, thankfully. How are we doing? We can't double attack with King. Ideally, I would actually want to, but we can't. Because of... Uh, do we... I think I'm gonna do this. Just in case he has dodge. 241 is quite high. So, I wouldn't, like, expect dodge, but you never know. Oh, he has... Okay. 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 We, we should... I don't know if that bleed does enough. Okay. He does, he does have CC. Like, truthfully, the one's very high. I don't remember how much my highest CC is without CC food, but I think 241 is very high even for me. But you never know. <laughs> you never know. She just full healed and killed King. It's safe to say this team is un unusable. And they're not even bleeding anymore. Completely unusable. Don't, <laughs> don't bother. Next up, we got Unknown with Zahard. And Albedo. This is the team they have as a template, but they do, you know, have replacements. I could replace Albedo for tier, which I, f I see. I think it could be better, but like this team is unusable, anyways. So <laughs> Zahard post Gelda is quite a impossible character to run. Albedo has been a very tough character to run since Melly as well. So he's just... Unknown is in a position where... If you are using Unknown with Gelda, it's fine. I still I still wouldn't use Unknown anyways. If you're gonna run Gelda, you might as well run Demons. Even if, I would say, Unknown is like your best team or something, I would still recommend... I, I, I don't want to waste the... Maybe I should have wasted the counter. It's like a level 1 counter for Albedo in the tur turn 1 like this. I don't think she would do damage enough that it would matter. 
Mm. I'd been better off not even attacking. <sighs> okay. We could kill Melly here. I believe. Or. No, we need to kill Melly. Melly would do way too much, way too much harm. But uh, I got this. Is that hard? Ah, that was level two as well. Uh, that was level two as well. I just, I had to go for Gelda with the hell attacks. It's like. Uh, starting next turn, Galdo would be an impossible character to kill unless I got like a level 3 hell single target. It is not even counting the other two characters. I was way too lenient, lenient with Zahard. I should have given him. Oh, we got the ult. A way lower ranked than I did on my tier list. But... Hey, at least we won. He's the best. Yeah. Pretty much unusable unless you face like a, a non-Gelda bot. Or maybe some Gelda bots you can still win against like I did, but... Highly unlikely. We got Goddesses up in 5th place, and I think... This is a pretty fair placement. Goddesses are in a struggling position right now because the game kind of stopped giving us more. It's the thing where they don't want to release new named characters that much, so what they do, I mean, we just got Gelda, which is a new named character, but what they do is, instead of releasing like, I don't know, it's kind of crazy that Goddess Liz is in champ one. Okay. Sure. Instead of <laughs> releasing a new named goddess, when this team came out, they released like you know Green Lucia, which was a failure. And again, instead of releasing a new named goddesses, they, re they release an Elat, which was made for Guild Boss. So, and on the same patch, a LR Margaret, which is a character that was already on the team, being a bit improved. They did eventually release Goddess Liz, sorry, uh, Light Liz V2, which is very similar to Goddess Liz in model and honestly in concept as well. But they did release eventually a new goddess, new named goddess, and she is pretty good still, but not enough, you know? With, uh, with Gelda, especially on the game, Goddesses struggle quite a bit. You'd think Goddesses would be phenomenal, because Gelda's biggest weak point is facing those damage reduction characters. But even then, the DPS is very low. The DPS is entirely in Liz's shoulders. It almost feels like uh, Mael aged insanely fast. Because every character that released after him was just obscenely OP. Uh, the shield. Uh, how about we do this? Talking about Demon King right after him and others, like... He really got a short, short in the stick. Had an anniversary almost right after, got tear, like... Right after Mayo. Some of the biggest... <laughs> like... Insane power creep characters released. And even before my I mean, Purgatory Melee and the One Ultimate were big time power creeps for their time as well. So Mael was just like a little bit on meta. They were, he was like competing with those characters, but almost right after, you know. Yeah, Demon King, Bon, I wouldn't say Hell was right after, it was uh, quite some time after, but also a really strong character, right? 
and just mild in. All I'm trying to say is he needs a holy relic. <laughs> Festival from a year ago. Hey man, can can this guy get a holy relic? He kind of needs it. So in fourth place, they have the Assault Maligelda team, which is honestly very bad. Like, this is a very bad placement. This is, I would say, a contender for number one best team in the game. Uh, I personally would leave a number two best team in the game. I think her position with Demon King Meliodas is much more favorable. You have the two best characters in the game together. That's, I think, quite a bit better. But for a lot of players that don't have the option to go first, Assault Melee is phenomenal. I they even find a bot? Not even bots are playing right now? Okay, we got a uh, Demon King and a Starosa Galda team. i rather, you know, swap that Demon King for, honestly, even LR Zaldrus. But this is definitely like... If you just put any combo of the, you know, Major Demons and Galda, that's a good team, right? It's like... <laughs> it is not so complicated, right? So it's not... Not that big of a deal. Do we just do we just do this? I think we we triple AOE here. We're gonna get a good amount of heals, and then Galda should do some decent damage. Yeah, with the defense lowers as well. Oh, decent heals. They sealed us. <laughs> Whatever, man. We almost killed the Staros and Demon King as well with just that. Those three AoEs. Like, Galda in combination with Assault Melee is so obscene. The defense breaks are so crazy. And then if you add the defense breaks on top of Demon King's debuff, it goes even crazier. I still think... I still... Now, I, I think that if you're gonna run Assault Melee, I think Demon King is a phenomenal option. So, I'm not mad about that. Like, I, I do... Much prefer running Astrosa because the basic stats, but I think that the combo of debuffs makes sense. All right, we're gonna heal a good amount this time, and so we we should kill here, right? We should kill Galdo, honestly. Does she have Tar Link? She doesn't. So, yep. look at all those crits. Assault Melee, biggest comeback in history. Biggest comeback in history. Those crits would not happen if I was Ultimately. Trust me, I've used Gelda quite a bit. <laughs> quite a bit. Next up, we have the Sins team, which uh, starts the meta teams now. So at the bottom of meta, they have the Sins team, which I would say is still a meta team, so that is correct. But I would argue is worse than the Assault Melee team, which is used. Personally, I think that the Assault Melee team is better. But it's still a good team on its own right, still. And, you know, it does still have what is arguably the best character in the game, which is Melee. So it's not like it's a dead, un on the ground, you know, team or anything. But I would argue does have, you know, a, a few pegs below being able to use Gelda at this moment. Gelda is just way too OP. And... <laughs> A team that has her versus a team that doesn't have her is a difference. It is what it is. And right now, so this team I'm facing right now has no debuffs, which means my melee is not going to get the rank up. So that's very unfortunate. And I don't have another melee AoE, so I can't use it for removing or anything. Yeah, Gelda not having debuffs is very annoying. And because way less people are running Bond, it becomes way more inconvenient to get melee rank ups as well. Like, I, I guess if you face an Assault melee, that would be easy to get those debuffs, but then... Uh, this should kill. But I'll, I'll make sure. But it, it, sh it should kill. But this team is, I would say, still definitely a top tier team in the game currently. Demons made another comeback, who would've thought? <laughs> but it doesn't disqualify Sins, I don't think. Demons, they they go down a little bit. It's not like Demons weren't meta either. 
right? Like Demon King, Demon King Mali, and I don't know, Sorosu, was still a very good team before Gelda. It's just that now <laughs> it is the best team. Crazy. They they can't have demons be not meta for like a month. Right? A month passes by. And they're like, you guys, you guys are not using a full demon team right now? What? Hear me out. <laughs> We're gonna make this unknown character. But really, she's a demon. What do you guys think? And she's like immortal. Oh my god. Yeah, I didn't kill her. I didn't kill her in the second turn. I, uh, I need like a melee ultimate now. Even then I probably won't kill her. Even melee, 6-6 six, six melee ults struggle to kill Gelda. Isn't that crazy? <sighs> we should kill. We might not kill. Should have gone first, Terosa. But th this should kill Terosa. Okay. Gelda with Alice Terosa should take a, a ton more damage. Dude. <laughs> What's wrong with them? Why did they release this character? Bye, King. I think if they just release another really good Sin, Sins can make a like top one team contender comeback. It's just King is very like okay. You know, King is the meta character for the team. Okay, we need to kill. We need to kill him. Let's let's not let's not lose focus here. We need to, we need to kill him so she loses basic stats. King is the meta character for the team. Like he is the necessary unit you have to run to make the team considered meta. But like, dude, King kind of sucks. He has one thing going for him. When you're thinking about meta characters these days, they have. So many things going for them. So many. Like one shotting my back unit. Okay. No. Almost one shotting my back unit. Sorry. Okay, we get the melee ult. Let's guarantee a crit of the ultimate by doing this. We get the melee ult. I'll, I'll rank up the uh, the single target as well. Uh, not now, because I can't, but you know, eventually. The single target would not kill, I don't think. Hmm. Does the ult kill? I think it does. Does the ult kill is crazy, right? Mer Merlin is... Alive. Okay. Oh, the corrosion. Oh, Merlin. Ooh, Merlin. <laughs> Huge. I didn't even notice what debuff was on her. I was so flabbergasted. It's like 17 turns in and she's still alive. Cause my god, this character's stupid. Next up, we got Arthur on second place. I actually would not disagree. I think Arthur team is second place. But the way that I would say it is, it's like Arthur is second place to whatever team you put Gelda on. Any combination of Gelda plus two demons of the, you know, top characters of the demon selection is the best team in the game. Period. And then between those best teams in the game, there's like subsections. I'll say that the, like, Assault Melee team might be the best or whatever, right? I, I say it like that because... Whatever team Gelda is on is going to be better than a team that Gelda is not on. It's just how the game is right now. It's just how it works, right? So, I would agree. Our first second place, if you assume that first place is the Gelda section. If you do that, then I agree, actually. Arthur did not completely fall off or anything. If you still go first, he is still very good. Is just before Galda, it was like if you went first with Arthur, it was a guaranteed win. Like unless you 
clicked auto or someone like disconnected your phone from the game like it was a guaranteed win so Arthur is still very powerful it just isn't the guaranteed win anymore it's just a very likely win actually it's a somewhat likely win <laughs> if you have like a very strong Arthur team <laughs> Like, very, very strong. Not as easy to run as Gelda. You need to go first, you don't have a choice. Gelda, as I, as I mentioned, like with Assault Melee, you can go second. You can go second. It's not... I, I still think you, you're better off going first with Gelda a lot of the time. Because if you're facing, like, a, a Demon King melee team, they can just kill you straight up, but... The, the likelihood is you're gonna win if your team is better than the other team, even if you go second. Like, if your Assault Melee team has just, you know, more investment, you're probably gonna win. Alright, time for number one, which, who would guess? It is the Demon King Melee Gelda team. Number one, I mean, I, I don't even think I can disagree, but I will say this, it's like, just, just like I just mentioned, Whatever team has Gelda in it, and then the combination of the top demons, you could argue as being number one. Unfortunately, they did not have an LR Zeldris team. I would say that, you know, that Assault Melee team, I like running LR Zeldris more than Demon King Zeldris. <clears throat> Demon King Zeldris is cool, but this guy's running LR Zeldris. And you can run LR Zeldris instead of Asterosa as well. Like, there is a lot more that you can do here. And, uh, I mean, it's just crazy, right? Let's... Do I go for Gelda? Yeah. The thing is, like, Demon King melee enemies, right? Aren't as scary if you don't have a debuffer. And the thing with this team is... Do you see a debuffer? Yeah. Like, Demon King melee is not gonna get, like, a rank up or anything. I mean, we kill anyways. If you get a triple AoE turn, where you have two Gelda AoEs or true melee AoEs, as the, uh, is, you know, the extra card right there. It's a wipe. Unless they have dodge. They might still get wiped if they have dodge. <laughs> so I cannot argue with this being the actual best team in the game. Because if you do go first, it's practically a free win. But if you can't go first with teams, honestly, dude, the assault melee team that we used earlier is pretty much just as good. It's not as good. You can get caught just like, you know, this guy just did. If you go second against these teams, but I mean, you're gonna have dodge food, so you're gonna be better off in that way. In any case, I I don't, I don't think this is as bad as it's been. Th their lists have been worse, but that fourth place Assault Melee does kind of piss me off because that team is really, really good, way better. Like, really, way better than running since. Or Arthur. So, keep that in mind. 